Hi guys, welcome. We're at Barfield Crescent Park today at the Wilderness Station. It is a beautiful spring morning. Uh, we know that you're enjoying these days too, and we hope that you're getting out in the parks in your backyards, um, and you're probably coming across some of the wildlife that we have here in Tennessee, and we hope you are. So we wanted to bring uh, to use a couple of things that you might be seeing. First off, it is spring. We just finished Easter. Um, so we've got this little eastern cottontail that is very common backyard animal that I bet you guys have seen. So they're small in size and they are having their babies right now. They like to build their nests in the ground. And did you know that mom only comes once or twice a day to feed? Can you imagine if your parents only fed you once a day? You'd probably be really hungry. But these bunnies are used to it. So they like to stay in their nest in the ground. Uh, when they are old enough, they're gonna emerge and they're gonna be about the size of our hand, like a little brown tennis ball. And they're perfectly fine at that stage. They've already left their mom and are able to feed for themselves. So just enjoy it if you see them hopping around your garden. So the bunnies are on the ground, but what if you looked up into these trees? What might you find up there? There's lots of things living in our great trees. One thing that I bet everybody has seen is our eastern squirrel. So they're very, very common around here and they're, they're really fun to watch because they leap from branch to branch and can twirl around with their acrobats. Uh, so this is a common mammal that we have and they love to bury those nuts and dig them up this time of year. They're also raising their babies. So look up, you might hear them before you see them because they like to chatter. And when you find big clumps of leaves in the trees, they might just have a family in there. The other thing when you're up looking in the trees is the Virginia possum. This is one of my favorite animals to see. Um, and this is the mama possum in this picture photographed with her babies. So there are marsupials, which is just like our kangaroo. She raises these babies in her pouch for about two months. As they get to be this size, they can't fit in the pouch anymore and they'll crawl up on her back. Now these guys are nocturnal, which means they come out at night. So you might not always see them during the day. Um, however, this is a great sight to see when you're looking up at the trees and you can watch the mom take care of her babies. Another mammal that comes out this time of year is waking up from hibernation. That's our groundhog. He is the only one that in Tennessee that truly hibernates. So he's waking up from his long slumber. As you're riding in a car, look out your window and you might see a small brown furry creature close to the road nibbling on some grass. The other thing that's happening this time of year that's really exciting is the ruby-throated hummingbird has made its return back to Tennessee. In the fall, they'll leave here and fly down to Central and South America, which can be a thousand miles long. There they'll spend the winter before returning back to Tennessee this spring. So you can look for these at your backyard feeder, which is a great opportunity to see them up close and personal. They also love red and orange flowers, especially like our gladiolas and our cardinal flowers. If you have those planted, uh, be on the lookout for these tiny flying acrobats. So speaking of birds, I bet you guys have seen a cardinal. There are bright red birds that like to fly around trees and they'll visit your feeders too if you have them out. So the cardinals are bright red, but we also have the eastern bluebird who you guessed it is bright blue. They're here all winter long, but during the spring they turn this gorgeous blue color as they dart through the trees looking for their insects. The fun thing about a bluebird is you could actually make a bluebird house that would help them find a nest. You can get this pattern off of Google and have your parents help you put it together and put it up around your house. And this is a great opportunity to observe our wildlife up close and personal. So those are some of our birds to be on the lookout for. Another thing to look out for is our reptiles. 
Probably one of the most lovable reptile we have around here is the eastern box turtle. I bet you guys have seen one going across your yard, maybe across the road or the greenway. So our box turtles do come in all different colors and patterns. And a lot of times the more brightly colored ones are gonna be our males, where the more brown colored ones are gonna be our females. Look for them in your gardens. They also love wetlands and the wooded areas. Along those same lines is our amphibians. So frogs are our most well-known amphibian, and they're easier to hear than see, perhaps. So especially at night, put your listening ears on and listen for those frogs outside. These are just a few animals that you can see if you're enjoying outside in your backyard or if you come to one of our parks. You can even go to our website at Murfreesboro Parks, look under the wilderness station for a printable scavenger hunt. If you want to print that off, you can check off the animals that you've seen. Also, if you find a new one that's not on there, make sure you list that on it. So get outside and see how many animals you can find in our great Tennessee outdoors.